Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about types of marketness. The first type is formal marketness. It's defined through the absence or the presence of certain formal marks. The derivation is considered to be one uh, to be a major method of English word formation, which refers to the creation of new words by adding affixes to the original words. For instance, the word prince becomes princess, happy and happy, lucky and lucky. The words prince, happy and lucky are unmarked, while the other words princess and happy and unlucky are formally marked by suffixes and prefixes. The other type of uh, markedness is called uh, distributional markedness. The unmarked words here are more general in meaning than the marked ones. For example, in the following question, the word old is unmarked. How old are you? It is unmarked because uh, the meaning is more general and neutralized to age. So. Uh, old here doesn't mean that the receiver of the question is old. In contrast, how young are you? Here the word young is marked. So it, it means that the receiver is, is really young. Another example is, uh, another example is in, in the word far versus near. For example, if someone asks, you this question how far is the station this question do not does not reveal that the station is far consequently the word far is unmarked so its meaning is neutralized to distance in addition the question how big is your house it does not necessarily mean that the room is big because again the word big does not come as the opposite of small so it is unmarked and neutralized to size. We can say that old and far and big do not stand directly against young and near and small. Their meanings are neutralized and uh, generalized to uh, generalized and neutralized to age, distance and size. In contrast, if young and near small take place of old far and big, then the meanings of the previous questions will be different. This phenomenon is basically well explained by uh, Pollyanna hypothesis, which first, con which first conducted by Butcher and Osgood in 1969. It states that people subconsciously tend to focus more on the bright side of the world. As a result, this is reflected in the language too. This is why people come up with questions that seem to be more positive. Another, another markedness is called semantic markedness, which means that semantically marked words are more specific than those that are semantically unmarked. For instance, the words actress and waitress, waitress are semantically specific to female. On the other hand, the word actor and waiter could be sp could be specific to male or male and female in general depending on the semantic context in the following statement the first which is is that actor is an actor or an actress the first actor here is semantically general and unmarked while the other actor is marked and specific to man